Hello everyone, welcome back. We will see today try this of page number 127. Previously we have seen try this of this chapter, rational numbers. So you can refer to that. First one is, is minus 8 a negative rational number? So, as I have told you, rational number P upon Q form. So, here we are having minus 8. And here in denominator it is nothing. So, we can suppose it as 1. So, here we have minus ki sign. So, yes, it is a negative rational number. Yes, it is a negative rational number. अगर यहाँ पे ऐसा दिया होता minus eight upon minus two तो फिर तब ये negative नहीं होता क्योंकि numerator के पास भी minus sign है और denominator के पास भी minus sign है तो वो minus sign cancel हो जाती तो उस case में it won't be a negative rational number तब फिर ये positive हो जाता फिर next question है least five more negative rational numbers तो again we can write any rational number minus 3 upon 5 4 minus 4 upon 20 ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है कि में भी numerator में ही negative sign हो it can be in denominator also so 3 upon minus 5 4 upon minus 5 minus 10 upon 20 so we can take any numbers but at least एक negative sign होने चाहिए now next question on the same page, which of these are negative rational numbers? So, we have to find out 6 questions and we have to find out which is negative rational number. So, first one is minus 2 upon 3. So, here only one negative sign. So, yes, it is negative rational number. Second one is 5 upon 7. So, one is negative sign. Nahi hai. So, no. Third one, 3 upon minus 5. So, as I have told you, it can be in negative sign numerator and in denominator. So, here it is in the denominator. That's why, yes, it is a negative rational number. Then, fourth is 0. So, here no negative sign. So, it is not a negative rational number. Then, fifth one is also 6 upon 11. Again, no negative sign so it is not a negative rational number it is a rational number but positive right and then last is 6 1 minus 2 upon minus 9 see just now I told that this minus and this minus will be cancelled so it is also not a negative rational number it will become a positive so for negative rational number it is compulsory that there should be only one minus sign either in numerator or in denominator then next find the standard form of this first so first of all we will learn what is the standard form it is a try this on page number 129 so any bhi rational number ko standard form mein humka bol sakta hai jab uske numerator और डिनोमिनेटर में कोई भी कॉमन फैक्टर ना हो अदर देन 1 सो फर्स्ट थिंग वी विल डू इज वी विल राइट द फैक्टर्स ऑफ 18 सो इट इज 1 18 2 9 3 6 एंड 18 एंड नाउ वी विल राइट फैक्टर्स ऑफ 45 so factors of 45 are 1, 45, 3, 15, 5, 9. So to write factors we have simple method 1 into 18, 2 9s are 3 6 are and again 6 3s are. So we have here factors mil 18 ke and 45. Ke. अब इसमें से हम हाईएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर देखेंगे सी हियर 1 इज अ कॉमन फैक्टर देन 3 इज अ कॉमन फैक्टर एंड 9 इज अ कॉमन फैक्टर 
so out of this we have to choose the highest common factor hcf so here hcf will be 9 h c and f hcf is 9 so what we will do we will divide this our fraction minus 18 upon 45 we will divide it by 9 both numerator and denominator so when we will divide minus 18 by 9 what we will get minus 2 and when we will divide 45 by 9 what we will get 5 so now we are this fraction minus 2 upon 5 and here we can see that minus 2 and 5 both of them don't have any common factor means numerator and denominator don't have any common factor other than 1 so we will see one more example now 12 so for 12 we have factors 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 and for 18 we have factors 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 right so here we can see common factors are 1 2 3 and 6 but we want highest common factor h c f what will be our h c f it will be 6 here our highest common factor is 6 so again what we will do we will divide our numerator and denominator with 6 so minus 12 divided by 6 and minus 18 divided by 6 so we will get 6 twos are 12 and 6 threes are 18 and here minus sign so again we can see that our numerator and denominator doesn't have any common factor other than 1 so this is the standard form of minus 12 by 18 thank you